we're just gonna. We're just gonna. Okay, that's a huge corner call. call. <laughs> Not gonna talk about it though. Oh, Butler's charging. Oh, down the inside, and um, don't even need the DRS. But it's gonna be just a hell to catch up to Norris. Because we are currently purple, purple here. Whoa, as we do with DRS on Norris. Norris is also charging. You're in the top 10 now. Right Keep it up. Norris. My goodness. That was quick and easy. Come on. Well, we don't have DRS on all of them, but... Gap to the teammate time. behind is 33.8 seconds. This sounds a lot clearer, and I'm really liking it. And here comes the move on Alden around the outside. He defends on the inside. Oh, he's got him a deep. Obviously, without setup, it's just difficult as we do get the move done. Good stuff. Oh, and yeah, I forgot with the lifter there crossing himself. P8. We're obliterating this with stands. Can't wait to get into league racing in this game. Though. Whoa! Oh my god. The rear end decided not to exist there. There's five laps of fuel and remaining. DRS and overtake. Our gap to the car in front is 5.1 seconds. Thanks, Jeff. B7 is now where we are. My god. This is, uh... This is mad. Go for the move on the Claire. He's just left the room. Oh, over here again. Still just getting used to the handling model. Oh, the Claire has more pace, but no. Nope. Too wide. Doing what Devin Butler couldn't do. Actually making a proper move there and making it stick like a real person. Like, sorry, like a normal person, sorry. What the fuck are you doing? That doesn't matter. Um, well, we've at least stayed inside the points and come ahead of Devon Butler, so you know what? It's fine. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. The Mercedes team pulled out a fantastic performance today. They should be proud. What a start to the season this has been. A fascinating race here in Australia, at The top teams as ever continue to push the boundaries of the sport. And it'll be interesting to see how the new Alpha Tauri driver, Aidan Jackson, settles in. Especially after that early incident involving his teammate. Well, we've certainly seen rivalries born from less. Suffice to say, if you came into the 2020 season hoping for a bit of drama, it looks like you won't be disappointed. For sure. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. Listen, I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car, hmm? You're pathetic. You won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm... How did they ever sign you? Oh, Butler. I'm um, Devon. I didn't see you there. Uh, what, like, out on the track today? You nearly took me out, mate. Look. I don't know what happened. You cut in, I swerved. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, 
I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame, because you haven't settled in yet. Sorry, Aiden. Just bear with us one sec. No problem. You seem to find your feet quite quickly after you graduated from Formula 2. What advice would you give to Jackson in his first season? Well, stay out of my way mostly. <laughs> and uh, taking out your own teammate isn't something I would make a habit of. Almost ready, Aiden. We're just checking audio levels. Uh, sure. Seriously, Casper <laughs> must be wondering what on earth Alpha Tauri were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Devin. Yeah. <laughs> OK, Aiden, let's talk about that incident with your teammate. Butler's a dick, honestly. I just want to... I just want to grab his face and just... Just bang it against his, his car and then smash his helmet against his face and just kill him. Man, that guy pisses me off.